Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is May 26th, 2019. And I'm in Waldheim today. And the video, well, the introduction to this video is shot on Sunday, but the video itself was made yesterday. And when I when I was shooting the video, I really hadn't intended to, to make a post a video on it. But because the swarm was so large and the manner in which I captured this swarm was unique, I'll say, uh, I said, man, it's fun enough to put it on a video. So I made a video of it. So I just want to give some explanation because the video just jumps right into what, what I'm doing. And the swarm was, believe it or not, 40 feet in the air. My swarm catch bucket, it's on a retractable pole. And that pole will open up to 25 feet. So I have 25 feet, which is a lot, um, to be able to extend to get a swarm. Being these bees were 50 feet, 40 feet in the air, and it's not going to reach. So I had a seven foot ladder available, and I, and I had that, plus I'm about five foot six. So when you add it up, I'm still about three foot short from the bottom of the swarm. And you'll see on the very first attempt at getting the swarm where I push the pole up and I say, oh man, nothing happened. I still fell short of it. So the only way I was able to attempt to get the bees was to throw the bucket at them. And that's exactly what I did. So when you throw the bucket on them, of course, when that when that bucket hits them, the bees just fall down on you. So you'll see all that action in this video. And uh, and then I came back today and added the box to them. So you'll see all that stuff uh, on, on the end of the video. So without any further ado, let's go wrangle a big old swarm of bees and put them in a box. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. There is a surprise guest at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that.
<laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> well, I guess I wasn't done. I went back there, looked on the tarp, and look what I found. It's a little virgin queen. In fact, she almost got out the cage. I had to put my finger over it to keep her in. That's why I got the tape on it. So I'm going to put this right on the top of the box. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's probably more than one queen in that swarm and thing is so big. But we got one of the queens. Not bad. Thank you, Jesus. Woohoo! Wow. It may have been the only queen because these bees appear to be coming down out of the tree now. They do seem to be getting off the branch. I'll be a son of a gun. Let's see what's going on. I put the queen on the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we got the queen on this one, huh? <laughs> How about this one, Rooster? <laughs> that is, I think I'm going to enter that bucket launching into the Olympics, an official swarm catching Olympics as an approved method of catching swarms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a trip that is, huh? All right, it's been almost 20 hours since I came and, and did this. And I knew that this box is just not big enough to contain all these bees. And you can see they're still on here. So I knew I had to get another box, add to another box. So here it is. I came out today. I brought another box with me. And my plan on this is when I add the other box, my, my concern is that because we have a virgin queen in here, the likelihood of, of her, when she goes off to get mated, the other bees follow her, it's, it's very real. I've lost plenty of hives, uh, swarms that way. So my trick, what I want to do, let me, let me grab this frame and show you. So I went and took a, a frame out of one of our hives up at the Abbey, and it's got some nice brood in it, different stages of development of brood, some of it's uncapped. Heck, there may be a, some eggs in there, but uh, there's a lot of nectar in here as well. So my plan is I'm going to take this frame, drop it in the box that I'm going to add to it, and then I've got another frame that's empty, and I'm just going to rubber band the queen cage onto that. And I'll rubber band the queen cage right next to this frame right here. So the bees are going to get onto this frame. And the likelihood of bees swarming when there's brood in the box it, it's it's still possible, but you really lessen the likelihood of the bees leaving the box after you've captured them. So we're going to drop this frame into the box that I'm going to add to it. Get our queen right here. We're going to strap her into a, another frame with some rubber bands and drop all that to, in that box. And then we're going to set that box on top of here. So let's go ahead and, and do that operation right now. All right, part one done. Now I'm going to grab the frame. It's just a, a, an empty frame with some rubber bands crisscrossed. And these, cage, these cages really, really work nice as far as holding these cages. So we just simply put our cage right between the, the crosses of the rubber band. We have got a really great little holder right there. So now I'll drop this in the box. And of course we put it in the top because that way we're going to get the bees to migrate up to the top. And now that we've got that in there, we're going to slide our frame of brood right next to her. You ought to see the bees already on this frame. Really nice. And now we're going to just drop in our extra frame. So now we've got all our frames in the box, our queens in the box, we've given them all this extra room. These bees, they should have no problem now 
going inside of here, moving up, up into this top box as well. <laughs> I forgot to mention one thing, another thing. That's pretty common that I forget things. But I want to talk about where the rooster and I are as far as our number of swarms that we've caught. He's up to 28 right now. And he was, he was leading me by two for almost a week. But in the last week, between the, the traps that I, I've, I've set and caught bees in and now this one, I'm up to number 30 with this one. But with this one, I also had, I, I, I caught another swarm here in the same location on their house, the same house, uh, day before yesterday. And when I was doing it, the box that I was gonna use to put them in, another swarm started moving into that. So I left that box here and guess what? I caught a swarm in that one too. So I'm up to 31 swarms right now and the rooster is up to 28. You better start working hard, buddy. <laughs> I'm really pulling ahead now. <laughs> so look who I have with me today, mom, that's right. Mom decided she wanted to come do a little Sunday bee wrangling with me. She took a little shotgun ride with me and now she's up here at the, at the St. Lucie yard. So mom, after you saw me do all this stuff today, you got any advice or words of wisdom? Yes. What? You all better get out here and do some big bee wrangling for yourself. <laughs> you hear that? Words of wisdom. Listen to mom. So that's all we got for you in this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and we'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Red and Mom. Yes, we'll see you on the next video. <laughs>So back here in the back of the Abbey, I wanted to come out here real quick and check the uh, honeys that we've got going in, in, in our boxes. And it does appear to be really, really nice. We've still got about two weeks in our tallow flow. Man, when you open up your box, your third box, and you got 10 frames of bees in it, you're doing great. And, and every one of these things I see is white. It's capped. I don't know if it's capped, but it's white. So let's pull one of these frames out and we'll see what we're, we're starting to look like. Oh. <laughs> it's not capped yet, but it is completely full. Oh man, this, this probably weighs, I guarantee every bit of seven pounds, maybe even more. I mean, this is heavy. And all of the frames in this box look like that. So I might even have to add a fourth box to some of these, but that's a good problem, isn't it? But that's really, the, the, uh, I want to show you that part. I want to see too, because this is the first look I've seen at it. Um, but then I also want to uh, tell you that we're gonna go ahead and show the uh, pictures of swarms that people have been sending me. And we're almost at the end of it, but keep on sending me your, uh, your pictures of your swarms and I'll be happy to post them. So for right now, Let's go ahead and look at some swarm pictures, huh? Boy, this honey is great. <laughs>
look at this. Let's just pull another frame just to... And look how nice these bees are. Look at this. It, it's, it's completely full. Man, who doesn't, who wouldn't want to have a brand new frame with brand new comb with brand new honey in it? Huh? Look at this. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, I think we're going to have a nice honey crop this year. This one needs another bottle. Heavy frame. <laughs> oh my goodness, the whole box looks just like this. This one needs another box. If those girls can do that, if I throw another box on it, they'll fill it up for me. Because they love working for Mr. Ed. 